I'm gonna tell you how to boost views on YouTube and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, we all want more views, there's no secret in that. So I'm gonna show you something you can use to get more views and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But we gotta go to the computer for it, so let's go. Okay, so now we're here at the computer. I've logged into my Morning Fame account. And in this situation, I'm gonna use my account for this. I'm gonna use a topic that I'm going to optimize for this video that you're watching right now, and then we'll be able to see how it does. So what I'm going to actually use for this is something along the lines of Boost YouTube Views. Um, that's what I'm gonna try to go for. So, but what I wanna show you here is I wanna show you the other options that you have. So if you scroll on the page, what you're gonna see inside of Morning Fame is you're going to see that they're going to show you other videos of yours that are performing well. So if I click to show more, it's gonna show me basically the top videos that I've had in terms of performance overall, well-rounded performance over the last six months. So this is extremely valuable because this says, hey, your audience is responding to these, you should make more of these, right? So that's what you wanna use this area right here for. Another really cool thing is if you are looking for ideas. If you're saying, hey, you know, I, I want to make a video. I don't really have a ton of ideas on what I should make it on. This section down here in the bottom is basically pulling in channels that are being suggested next to my videos. So the cool thing about this is this is saying, hey, these are other people that are making videos that are similar to the types of videos that you're making. YouTube is associating you with these other channels in some way. And these are the, the particular topics and tags that these other channels happen to be using. For this example, I'm gonna use Brian G. What I wanna do for Brian G is I wanna hit the show more button and I'm gonna go here. And this is basically gonna show me, hey, these are videos that are doing well on Brian's channel over the last five months. These are the videos that are getting views. These are the videos that are getting engagement and so on. So I'm gonna go after the how to get views on YouTube topic um, because you know I think that's relevant to this video. Like I said, I'm gonna go after something about boosting views. So here I'm gonna click this to choose it for step number two. Now, this is going to give me the option here to choose a target keyword. Luckily, boost views for YouTube is on there. Um, so, but this is gonna give me the option to choose a target keyword. Now, what I wanna keep an eye on here is you know, you'll know you see the green checks. These are basically validated. This is saying, hey, these are things that people are actually looking for on a regular basis. These are things that you may wanna try to go for. The ones in the, with the gray boxes, not so much. So you wanna go for the green, you wanna stay away from the uh, the ones with the, the gray circles there with the X's in them. So another thing is it also will show you common keywords based on you know things that are definitely pulling in traffic. It's gonna show you uncommon keywords, which is basically stuff that people aren't using a lot. So you can really squeeze in on some good stuff that way to be the big fish in the small pond, so to speak. And it's also gonna show you similar videos that are also using similar metadata in order to pull views in from search. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Boost Views on YouTube. I'm gonna click on that. And as you can see here, again, it has that green icon letting me know that this is a validated thing, that people are specifically searching for this phrase. So I'm gonna click choose this for step three. Now what this is showing me, it's showing me that, hey, this is definitely something that's good to rank for. I could probably find something that's a little bit better, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lean on my channel for this one, for the actual views, for the traffic volume, because YouTube is going to suggest me out as long as my thumbnail is on point for this one. Um, so my relevancy, I'm gonna be able to win here. Um, on the subscriber side, I'm definitely gonna be able to win there. And I'm definitely going to choose this particular term for step number four. But another thing that I wanna show you as we scroll down the page though, is right here it says these are the search results for boost views on youtube okay so these are the top positions these are the top things that per my view if i go and i look right now this is how the search results page is going to show up on youtube so this right here this gateway video this is what i want to keep an eye out for things like this because this is telling me that based on their channel size, the views they have, um, the engagement and everything they've gotten on their videos, this is telling me this video right here is the one that I'm trying to take out. If I can get this video out of here or if I can squeeze in right here on top of this video, then there's gonna be a really good chance on me being able to squeeze into this particular spot. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on um, choose step four. You'll see here that my relevancy score is a C. 
okay? This is kind of like a workshop. That's how you wanna look at this right here. So this is gonna say, okay, if you use this title, if you use these tags, you use this description, this is your relevancy score, right? This is your opportunity to rank for these keywords. Now keep in mind, this is not a guarantee. This is basically saying, hey, you have a chance, a really good chance based on this score right here to rank for this specific term. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do boost views on YouTube. Now I'm going to do this and I'm going to put fast, right? Because people respond to that kind of stuff. And then here I'm going to go learn how to boost views on YouTube fast so you can get the exposure you're after. So with whatever changes you make there, you know, you're going to see that automatically took my relevancy score up to 87, right? Because basically what I did is I took boost views on YouTube and I also put boost views on YouTube here right? Because that's what I'm trying to go for. I also have some secret stuff in there on, you know, how to get views on YouTube. So as you can see, that helped boost my relevancy score just by filling this out because I put how to boost views on YouTube in the top part of my description there. And I also have here, I kind of snuck in a how to get views on YouTube as well. So I can also add tags there and then um, possibly end up ranking somewhere for that or being suggested for that. But I'm going to take this up a notch and I'm going to go to boost views on YouTube. Then I'm going to hit yes, and then I'm going to go boost views on YouTube free. I'm going to hit yes. And as you can see with all of these, I'm going to take this down, I'm going to take this down because we're going for views, right? I'm going to take this down, how to get more views, how to get more views fast, how to get views on YouTube. I'm going to take out James Wedmore. I'm also going to take out video creators down here. The reason for that is because it's against YouTube terms of service to use other creators' names in your videos if they are not directly in your videos or you're not making direct references to them. So that's a heads up for you that might save you some headache down the road. I'm going to take subscribers off of here. I'm going to take video marketing out of here. We're going to keep views. I'm going to keep views on YouTube, YouTube views. And uh, yeah, we'll run with that. And then the rest of the tags, I'm actually going to get with the suggestion tool inside of TubeBuddy once I actually load this into um, into my video. But basically the the value here with Morning Fame, the, the big thing that I want you to take away with this is this part right here. I mean, in addition to figuring out, you know, a topic to cover, figuring out what's working well with your competition and all of that is just being able to workshop it to where you can really build your relevancy scores and increase your opportunity for being able to rank your videos. I'm gonna have a link for Morning Fame down in the description below, so definitely make sure you go and click on that if this is something that you're interested in as far as learning how to properly optimize your videos for search and really you know, figuring out how to actually get good scores and all this stuff so you can really, really grow and boost your channel here on YouTube. If you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.